Hi, Joel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Pablo. Uh, doing great. How are you? Fine, fine. Well, uh, I love the actors who can get into his character like you do. Uh, how do you work this? Uh, could you improve something to the script? How is the work with the director and the Joe Runner? Yeah, it's... Uh... I, you know, I, I always look at it like every character and every project has its own process. And, yeah. and it's for me to discover the particular process for that role. You know, it has its own, each, each role has its own method. Um, and that's sort of my method, uh, that I have to invent a new method every time. But um, when you start playing a character for this long, for this long period of time, you really get to know them inside out. And... Uh, And I could feel that when we came back for the, the second season, um, it, it, it just, I will, I will, even though, you know, we're, I'm also playing a 10 year jump and, and, uh, and that has its own thought process and you have to kind of reinvent the character, but the core of this character, I know very well. So in the second season, I started to improvise a little bit more play around with it a little more uh, and i think it also benefited a lot from me <laughs> working with james gunn on suicide squad at the same time these i was yeah. shooting the second season and suicide squad exactly at the same time so i was flying back and forth between yeah. la and atlanta and uh, and and it was uh shooting suicide squad was very much a comedy clinic for me um, and um and and it, it, you know i was really getting to activate those muscles that I haven't used that much professionally. I, I spend a lot of time with comedians and, and I, you know, I have the, <laughs> the deepest respect for stand-up comedians and, and I'm a big fan of, of, of comedy, but of course. I haven't uh, really ventured into that, uh, into that, that arena at all. Mm -hmm. so, so with Suicide Squad, it was the first time that I got to take some, some, some of those steps. And, and when, I, when I came back and shot For All Mankind, I was sort of already there and activated. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I, I saw a bunch of opportunities for comedy that I think I didn't, I wouldn't have seen before. And, and I was playing around with it. So, uh, and yeah, so I think it opened up a little bit new side of, of Ed um, in the second season. And I feel like now when I'm shooting the yeah. third season, I'm, I'm looking for it in a different way. And then I think at the same time, Suicide Squad was benefiting from me working on For All Mankind because we were doing such deep emotional work that I, when I had emotional stuff on Suicide Squad, it was like I was right there. And uh, um, yeah, so, so sometimes it, 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 it's a complication to do shooting yeah. two things at the same time, but it also benefits you. Well, thank you. Um, the last one, and, and small question, because uh, we have only one minute. Um, there are many people who see us. Uh, for someone who has never seen the series, how will you define it? It's difficult because it's uh, is sci -fi it's a very example, unique show. Or is uh, a drama well, series? It, it's like a historic, <laughs> dramatic sci-fi. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it, um, yeah, but, but, but it very much is its own thing. But I think it's the first show that will take you from the 60s as, as, as a historic show and take you on a journey all the way to Star Trek. And that, <laughs> that is the grand vision of this show. And, yeah. and, and the audience of this show will be the first audience that gets to go on that journey. Perfect, well, nice to meet you, Joel. Thank you very much for the- Nice to meet you too, Pablo. Disfruta tu día. <laughs>